Hey guys, this is Safi Hacking for Interdops and HackingSAP.com and in this video I want to have a quick look at a new feature that is coming up in the SAP Analytics Cloud and it's bookmarking and we've been waiting for quite a while on this feature to arrive in SAC because of course we know it already from other SAP BI tools like the BEX Web Analyzer in the past and more recently in Lumira Discovery and Lumira Designer. Well, especially in Lumira Designer, we had a lot of detailed options that we could choose as a developer in the bookmarking area. So we could really um, determine for the users what parts of the dashboards should or should not be bookmarked. So now finally, this feature is arriving in SAP Alex Cloud and I'm now running Wave 2018 16 here so in 16 this feature will be available i opened i uh, just wanted to sample stories and as you can see here on top in the book uh, in in the toolbar we have new icon for the bookmarks and all users of your stories will have this feature so it, it's not dependent on specific rights or something um, it's available for all the uh, all the angels even even in case you don't have added rights on stories you can still use bookmarks so what we can what can we do with these bookmarks we can in this re release at least we can store all the filters that we have in the story including uh, story filters which are the filters here on top we can make bookmarks of the page filters which are the input controls you can put on the page and we can use filters in graphs or in, char um, in charts or geo maps uh, and tables so those are also included in the bookmarks so let's have a look on how this works and how this looks like so first let's put a story filter on top of the story using the toolbar here on top let's choose sales manager and i'm just picking two random names here so it's now filtering the whole story to store this i can go to my icon for the bookmarks and click uh, bookmark current state and with this dialog i can give the bookmark a name uh, i think it was gary and, and somebody else janet i believe and as you can see here, we also have an option set as a new default. So if I hit this one and save the bookmark, then the next time that I will start up this story, this bookmark is automatically applied. So if I now go to my bookmark menu, I see here my newly added bookmark in here, Gary and Janet, which is also my default bookmark. But I can also go back to the original story. So let's go back now. And as you can see, the filter here on top has been removed. If I want to go back to the bookmark that I just made, I can simply select it and the filter is shown again. If I open the story, then I will also apply this bookmark because I checked it as my default uh, startup. So as you can see, now also the filter is applied. And let's say I want to change that. Then I can go to the bookmarks again, choose edit here, and unselect the box. And now it will just start again with the original story. So let's do a few more things here. So we now have uh, a story filter in place, but I want to do this as well with some page filters. So I only want to see data from, what is it, 2015 for Nevada in this case. So let's make another bookmark and let's call it 2015 Nevada. save and as you can see i can now switch between these stories 
go back to the Jerry and Janet story, which disables my filters that I put in here. And now if I go back to Nevada, then these page filters are applied again. So this also works with charts or other widgets. So let's, for example, use this uh, geo map here where we can, uh, let's zoom in and let's make a filter here on uh, San Francisco and Sacramento. So let's say I want to filter this. Let's make another bookmark. Uh, San Francisco. Save it. So let's say I want to start again and open my story. Then I'll go to the analysis tab. So you see the initial state of this map. And if I then open my San Francisco bookmark, then you see that I have the selection that I just put in there. So I'm now using a sample story uh, with acquired data. What I can also do is use these bookmarks on live data sources, for example, uh, the BW or uh, HANA views I can use. In case I have prompts, then also those prompts will be included in the bookmark. So let's say we mess up the story and remove components that we used in bookmarks. So we can mess up the bookmarks. So what happens then? So let's say in, in this case, I have my bookmark on San Francisco and well, for the example, let's, let's take another one. Let's go back to the, um, to the Nevada bookmark that we made. So this one has only Nevada selected here in the location, but let's say I remove this input control on location then the bookmark contains something that's not part of the story anymore. So if we just remove this input control and we save our story, then I go back to the view mode. And I still have my bookmark on Nevada in here. So what happens if I open that one? So then I get this warning here, bookmark was partially applied, show more. Hey, your widget location has been removed. So that's the input control that I just uh, removed from the story. So it's, it's a bit of a conflict in this bookmark and the user then gets a warning about what's happening. So that's pretty good how to solve this here uh, because you can of course run into these issues uh, where people are developing or changing reports while other users are uh, yeah, using them with their own bookmarks. So then at least it's clear for them what happened and why not everything has been applied as expected. So to wrap this up, Wave 16 brings us bookmarking in SAP and Let's Cloud. All the users can create those bookmarks Note that these bookmarks are private. They cannot be shared with other users. And also the developers cannot create bookmarks for users or uh, create bookmarks as an initial set of bookmarks for a particular story. Oh, we, we have also seen that we can set a bookmark as a default for when the story opens. And also note that if you copy a story, then you won't copy the bookmarks that you have created on that story. So we have bookmarks for story filters, page filters, all the visualization widgets and prompts. And we've seen that in case a bookmark cannot be applied, then you get a warning. So some features that we can expect in the near future. Well, first, uh, bookmarks will also be included in the explore mode. So if you now go to explore from, uh, let's say a table or a chart in your story, then you can uh, work with your data set and add or remove dimensions, uh, apply filters, etc. 
but everything you do in your analysis remains in that explore mode. So if you leave the explore mode and you go back to the story, then everything that you did is gone. Eh? So you can only create a screenshot of it and for the rest you cannot continue your work if you go back to the explore mode. So that's where bookmarks uh, come in very handy. Um, also next year we can expect the public bookmarks to be there as well the sharing of bookmarks finally i put on uh, the bookmark administrator which is an improvement request that i created in the uh, influence portal so with that i mean uh, something like we have in the sap business office bi platform where you can see all the bookmarks that were created by the users on the platform in the lumira documents so then you can see a bit more about how the users are actually using the dashboards uh, that you created and based on that information you can maybe adjust the stories that you built or you can uh, provide uh, some kind of support to the users uh, so that is very very useful information to have as an admin or a repo developer so I will include the link to this uh, influence request also in the video so you can vote for it if you like. So that, that ends the video. Uh, I'm very glad this feature is added to SAP Analytics Cloud. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Uh, users will be very happy with it. They are used to this feature so they will recognize it and um, probably gonna use it a lot of times. So thanks for watching and till next time.